Yo, man, this duck is f***ing it up. Oh, wait. Goose. What's the difference between a duck and a goose anyway? Oh, ducks are smaller. Geese have webbed feet. Hmm. What's up guys, Charles Powers here, and though we are a few weeks removed from PAX West uh, 2019, Dell and Carlos were out there killing it on behalf of the TGF crew, and you know what? I'll jump right into it. We checked out a ton of awesome indie games, as well as the major titles, of course. Uh, we also got some hands-on time with the Google Stadia. All of that content you can find at thegamefanatics.com. Today though, today, I want to share with you guys some really exciting indie titles that we got to check out at PAX West 2019. Starting off the list, Untitled Goose Game. Simply put, Untitled Goose Game is a game where you waddle around as a goose, disturbing well-to-do humans and creating a nuisance wherever you go. Developed by House House and Panic Studios, the game features a beautiful watercolor aesthetic and a piano soundtrack that makes us nostalgic for those Saturday morning cartoons we all used to enjoy. The game has light puzzles and a surprising stealth element that requires the goose to get into certain areas without being detected. Yo, you like what you see? Well, you can pick up Untitled Goose on PC and Switch this week. That is not Next up, Hot Shot Burn, a competitive action game where you choose from a wild assortment of characters, uh, from space marines to quirky aliens. Uh, the cast, they kind of look like they just got plucked out of a Nickelodeon cartoon. Man, I love everything I see about this and wish with all of my being that this becomes the sport of the future. You've got One Life, a map with all sorts of dangers to watch out for, and on top of that, uh, you've got to kill the other players. If you're still alive after all of this, the game's commentator will probably have you in stitches. Well, I hope Luna's family wasn't watching. You're looking at a gorgeous game called Young Souls, one of the most beautiful games I've seen in a long time. Young Souls is a dungeon crawling RPG where a duo of red-headed warriors fights through over 70 dungeons. The game can be played solo or with a friend in co-op and part of its charm is how the duo interact with each other. Their style is infectious and it shines through in combat and the dialogue as well. Young Souls doesn't have a release date quite yet, but best believe we're keeping tabs on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, had to switch it up. Oof. Oof. Yo, this, this is blasphemous. No, like, that's the name of the game. I mean, what's not to like? The art style is dope, movement looks crazy fluid. Um, yeah, I can definitely mess with this. Blasphemous allows players to parry, jump, and dodge a lot more fluidly, unlike other games in the 2D Souls-like genre. The game is also unmistakably brutal. You're slicing up enemies left and right and performing executions so violently. One would say with reckless abandon. Blasphemous is another title you can pick up right now. Topping off our list, Foregone by Big Blue Bubble. This game looks amazing. I don't know if you noticed, uh, your character is a badass, is a woman, of color. I mean, look at this combat, the weapons. This is one that Carlos couldn't stop talking about when he got back from PAX. He said it reminded him a lot of Dead Cells with a ton more exploration and deeper combat. I mean, look at it. Forgone is slated for PC and console releases this winter. Man, I just can't get over how amazing these games look and how well they play. Major shout outs to all the dev teams. Uh, which one stood out to you? Any questions you may have, drop some comments below. Thank you for watching. I'm Charles Powers. I'll see you in the next video.